the video day keeps the doctor away. Uh, I don't know, that's kind of a cheesy saying, but I've been posting videos for so long, I kind of wonder how many are out there. There's probably, I, on my channel, there's probably, I don't know, 5,000, no joke. Um, so CJ7 hoods, okay? Uh, for a long time, we were out of them and CJ5 hoods as well. So I'll make a quick video and go through the ones we have. Some of these are worse than others, some of them are better than others. Uh, if you're a sheet metal guy, great. Okay, and I'll, 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 just real quick, if you need any G parts, okay, I, I like to do videos for everything we have out here. And eventually you'll probably see, if you do go back through our videos, uh, there's a lot of one-offs, so I'm, I'm listing a specific part. Usually it's gonna be a frame or a tub. And on hoods or, or windshield frames, tailgates, stuff like that, you'll see maybe what we have at the time. If it's five years old, those are probably gone. Well, I know they're gone. But if it's, you know, a couple days old, we probably still have them. The point is, is that if you watch one of my videos and you need Jeep parts at all, and you go to our website, partsbreakers.com, and you don't see what you're looking for, give us a call. This, is, uh, this business is ever-changing. It has been since I've owned it. I've always wanted it to be perfect, and it is perfect in a lot of ways, but unfortunately, uh, listing is not one of them, and that just means that we just don't have the time to list everything all at once. Um, and we do a couple hundred phone calls a day, and then on top of that, I'm doing deliveries, and my wife is pregnant and so there's a lot going on right so call us that's the main reason i do videos is just to put us out there and it's a it's a good inexpensive way to put our name out there and the ring and we're one of when i say this one of if not the only rust free yard of our size that specializes in nothing but jeeps uh, when i say nothing there's a couple diesels and i mean like two literally and they've been fixing our own trucks that we buy them and then we part the rest. So majority of this seven acre yard is 95% Jeeps, okay? And they go from, you know, old Willys ones, although I don't do a lot of those. I usually try to sell those off whole uh, just because it is a whole new inventory that I don't want to mess with at the moment. And then all the way up to JKs. This tub came in and uh, doors and yada, yada, yada. So I don't get, won't get into that, but I mean, that's the kind of, stuff we do and we sell those things uh we piece them out or we sell them whole you know whatever so um you're seeing a lot of pallets right now scattered around we just came out of our busy season which runs from january to july we have one month one month that is usually slower maybe two and that's usually august september right around school season and this august is nothing but uh, slow. It has been busy, 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 which is awesome. I love it. I was really worried about the lull. Last year we had to lay some people off. So uh, we run a, usually a seven or eight people crew, person crew out here. And um, we've even brought in some extra help recently. So that's been awesome. And uh, yada, yada. So without further ado, let me go over real quick uh, some hood options for you. And mainly this is going to be CJ. If I pass by something that's non CJ, I might throw it up uh, and tell you about it. But otherwise, um, this is a hood that is absolutely beautiful, except for one thing, which is that guy right there in the center. And I have absolutely no idea what they did because the rest of this hood is, I mean, it's straight. There's really no, I don't see any dings. I'm sure in the right light, you might couple, see a couple small ones, but virtually it is perfect other than that there. So it will be a very, it will be a discounted hood. Clearly I can't sell it as a grade A. With that issue, I gotta be careful on these guys because there's always wasps messing around. I lifted one up the other day. Oh, that's actually not even that big of a hole. So, um, who knows what they had there? It sits a little bit over the carb area uh, intake, so maybe they had something sticking up there. Um, hard to say. But the rest of the hood, it's a little dirty, but the rest of the hood is in good shape. And um, yeah. Hood props, that kind of stuff, it's on this hood right now, but that stuff does get sold separately and usually will be gone by the time uh, that hood gets sold. So I'm not gonna list pricing because pricing fluctuates so much on CJ parts and it really just is supply and demand um, on them, but usually a couple hundred bucks is what you're looking at on like a really nice uh, solid hood. This one will obviously be discounted for that um, there on it and you've seen both sides of it. So if you can work with it, great. If not, um, no worries. I won't get too much into under this but i do want to mention tubs and and windshield frames the hot tickets um this tub is probably shot um we'll see it might be uh you know one man's uh uh trash is another man's treasure i say that because we sell and deliver a lot of frames and tubs to the midwest east coast and those guys it always it doesn't cease to amaze me 
when I'm going, nah, not good enough. And they're going, dude, look at what I got. So um, we can get this one fully stripped down and this one might be available. I do have, it just came in, you'll see it here in a second, a really nice CJ7 that I think I'm gonna get a grade A frame or a tub out of and possibly a frame as well. Um, and uh, it'll have a little damage, but no rust. Uh, and I'll show you that here in just a second. But again, I'm gonna try to not go too off topic here. So YJ hood, no, they don't interchange very well. This one's got a little damage anyway on it. So this one would be very, oh, this one's got a lot of damage. So something like this, for example, is pretty much a parts hood that we're probably just going to uh, part out. So if you need a parts hood or your wheeling hood or something like that, uh, Kevin's calling me, uh, then um, I will, um, I'll give you this thing, okay? I won't deliver it for you because I don't want to deliver, uh, I just don't have room to deliver free stuff. But local stuff, you want to come in or have somebody come by and you need, need a hood to wheel in, I'll give you that. You can buy the hinges from us, um, but the hood, that kind of hood would be free. And same with CJ if I had one in really bad shape, which we might. Um, okay, this hood here is going to be more of a upper tier hood. It is about as nice as you're probably going to find for not a absolutely perfect, but pretty dang close. And the only reason, only thing I seen on it was right here. It's a little beveled out and you can see it right along that fender line. Okay, um, let's see if this side is as well. Yeah, this is perfect. So that's going to be a little bit of repair there and just bending this back into shape. And so therefore this one again will be discounted. I'll lift it up here and show you the underside of it. We're going to be painting it. Um, this is probably not too bad of one to, to fix. So you can see right there where it's kind of, this one's kind of bowed down right there. And that's, that's what it is. And that side's perfect. So the rest of this hood is absolutely beautiful underside. Um, no warping, you know, if they get fired or whatnot, that will warp these pretty quick. This is a good uh, CJ hood that would be a uh, free one uh, or an artsy one. We even sell these to people who are doing arts work. But, you know, that one would be, like I said, here, here, pick it up. Same thing with this thing. That one's pretty much done. And I have, let's see here. show you specifically the seven that just came in this hood is not great um, it is usable but needs some repair work but the tub while well, this is about the only damage on that tub and i checked all the spots that are normal for rust i think we're going to get a solid tub out of that one looks real nice so um and it's got the crease which is a little hard to see but it's right there in the center which is more than likely either it came up at one time or somebody let it slam up against the windshield frame trying to you know, in a windstorm or something, and it kinks them pretty easy. But the lines are all smooth on the sides. They're all lined up, both sides. And it's just right there, okay? And then the underside of it. So again, this one would be heavily discounted for that. And then the hood prop and everything's on here so we can get some money out of that, hinges and whatnot. So, and then uh, just so you know, there's your air cleaner we talked about. This one is available. Um, and, uh, Looks like it's got a little bend right there on the side. So we discount that down a little bit. And yeah, so anytime you see like our pricing on stuff, you're gonna notice that it is, uh, it might be more on the premium side that we see listed. That doesn't mean that's all we have in the yard. It's just usually it's what's worth listing and taking the time. People call us, say, hey, I don't wanna spend that kind of money on it. We'll go out and look in, look in our still usable, but lower grade stuff and we'll wheel and deal with that stuff a little bit more. So um, I got a couple people standing here. So now I got an audience. I'm gonna let you go. 303-666-9020, parksbreakers.com. I appreciate it and have a great day.